الحمد لله الحمد لله الذي أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق يظهره على الدين كله وكفى بالله شهيدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد as to what proceeds on the fifth of Jamadu Thani 1443 after Hijra corresponding to the 8th of January 2022 we are seated here in the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's city uh, hmm. can you please tell us about the latest published book in the Arabic language at the city of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so the book is called Ad-Dalil Al-Muhkam Fi Nafi Athri Al-Qadim the decisive ruling on negating the footprint of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it was illustrated in the Persian language by Sheikh al-Islam Sayyid Nadir Hussain Dahlavi rahimahullahu ta'ala who lived between 1220 after Hijra to 1320 after Hijra. This book was first published in 1266 after Hijra corresponding to 1850. With the mercy of Allah the Most High, we republished this book about 170 years later. And this is an honor for me as we edited the text and added benefits, beneficial notes to it. Uh, can you give us uh, some background about the book? And what brought your attention to publish this particular book? Mm -hmm. Whilst working at the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's Masjid, Al-Masjid Al-Nabawi, and at his blessed grave, uh, I saw many people from all over the world uh, wear something like a symbol on their hats, turbans, thobes, etc. When I inquired, I was told that it was a replicate of the shoe print of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam known as Na'lain Sharifain. So I started to investigate uh, with regards to its authenticity, adopting the same principles of accepting and rejecting hadith as classified by the great Imams of hadith. As you know, the hadith has been transmitted by Imam al-Bukhari in his Sahih. The Imam Bukhari rahimahullah said, حدثنا مكي بن إبراهيم قال حدثنا يزيد بن أبي أبيد أن سلمة قال سمعت نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول من يقول علي ما لم أقل فليتبوى مقعده من النار إمام البخاري narrates that his teacher narrated to him مكي بن إبراهيم who said that يزيد بن أبي أبيد narrated to him that he heard his teacher سلمة بن الأكوى the companion of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say that, that he heard the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say whoever ascribes to me what I have not said then let him occupy his seat in the hellfire. Note in the English uh, printed edition of Sahih al-Bukhari it has in brackets intentionally muta'amidan. This is incorrect as this hadith this particular hadith which I have just narrated does not specify that it has to be intended. Rather, it is generic, am, and includes the one who intended, the one who is careless or ignorant. Now, Sheikh, can you tell us about the content of the book? Hmm. So, Sheikh al-Islam Nadir Hussain Dahlawi rahimahullah commences the book with a brief introduction, explaining that in Delhi, at his time, the one who rejects the presence and the reality of the footprint, Athr al-Qadim, of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is considered a disbeliever, a kafir, meaning that they would say that it's blasphemy. Then Shaykh al-Islam Nadir Hussain Dahlibi rahimahullah discusses the evidence provided by those who make the claim and eliminates and abolishes their arguments. Shaykh al-Islam Nadir Hussain Dahlibi rahimahullah mentions the concepts of miracles, mu'jizat, and whether the reality of the footprint, Athr al-Qadam, is considered as a miracle, mu'jiza, from the miracles of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Also maxims, usul, um, related to the seerah, biography of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, its reliable sources, principles of accrediting and disparaging narrations, al-jarwa, ta'deed, etc. have been mentioned. Shaykh al-Islam Nadir Hussain Dahlavi also examines the authenticity of the incident of the footprint the, the Qissa of Athr al-Qadam of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on the rock, Sakhr, of Baytul Maqdis that occurred on the night of Al-Isra. 
Further, uh, Shaykh al-Islam al Yusuf Dahlawi investigates in a scholarly manner the reality of the footprint of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam circulated in Delhi. He also reviews the historical aspect of the footprint of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam that was present at a place called Firoz, um, Firoz Shah, Kotla in Delhi. The impeccable methodology of Shaykh al-Islam al Yusuf Dahlawi adopts uh, is that he critiques all the fabricated and rejected narrations utilized to establish the footprint of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He highlights the contradictions that can be found within these narrations and concepts and eradicates them. Shaykh al-Islam Nadir Dahlavi brings many authentic narrations and makes phenomenal inferences, istimbatat. I myself have derived almost a hundred benefits from this book. This book is a must for any seeker of truth and a student of knowledge, as well as the scholars. What's the background of the book? So this treaty is, was originally written in Persian, in Farsi, and then it was translated into Urdu and edited by myself and revised by our Sheikh Wasil Abbas, who wrote a marvelous introduction to the book. Then the book was translated into Arabic by Sheikh Rashid Mubarakpuri, who added some beneficial notes and I revised and edited most of the text. We have plans to render the book into English and complete this project, as the book is now available in the Persian language, in the Urdu language, and now in the Arabic language. So this is the first book published on this issue. The first book published on this issue. And the only one that I know of it. Because when I started to research, working at the Prophet's grave, I could not find a book illustrated on this subject specifically. It is also the first book ever to be published in Arabic of Sheikh al-Islam Nadir Hussain Dahlavi, which is a great and noble honor for myself. So the book is available to be purchased at bookstores in Medina, as well as being available uh, online soon to be purchased directly on the internet. The outstanding feature of the book is its editing of its text and beneficial notes revised by our Sheikh Wasiullah Abbas. We ask Allah the Most High, separated from His creation, in a manner which befits His Majesty, to accept our efforts and keep us sincere, and that this work be beneficial for the seekers of truth and the Muslim Ummah.